In the beginning, there was television, and it was good. But soon, the world demanded more programming, more choices, and the large conventional channels began to lose market share. And so, specialty channels were born. And all was good in the land. And in the world of specialty channels, Night Enterprises prospered, making quality award-winning lifestyle shows. We became one of Canada's leading content distributors, selling our programming not only to Canadian channels, but all over the world. But soon, Canadians grew tired of their limited viewing choices for entertaining food and lifestyle programming. And so, Gusto was born. We launched Gusto on the 11th of December, 2013. 11, 12, 13, which is kind of a Zen date when you think about it because our goal was nothing short of reinventing the way people make food television. So why did we launch Gusto? Well, we felt there was room in the marketplace for an alternative to game shows, contests, guys with big hair eating hamburgers the size of their heads and yelling at you. A question we get a lot is, what makes Gusto different from the other guys? Well, first of all, we're foodies. On a Gusto television show, food is treated with love and respect. It's not a prop. The other thing that makes us different is our underlying philosophy behind our programming. We believe that food and cooking is the one true global language that no matter your God, your postal code, your socioeconomic status, no matter where you are in this world, you will go home tonight and you will cook something and you will sit down with somebody you love, somebody you care about, and you will share your day. That happens everywhere. This is the thing that we have in common. And how we do this in different parts of the world is also what makes us unique and different. And that's the language we talk at Gusto. So once we launched the channel, the first show that we produced was One World Kitchen. And it was our shout out to the world that we're different. It's a celebration of global cuisines, Argentinian, Japanese, Italian, Thai, Indian, Cantonese, Lebanese, Vietnamese, and Greek. Nine women from nine different cultures sharing their heritage and their passion for cooking. So, now that the ball was rolling, production at Gusto just didn't stop. A is for Apple inspires people to get creative in the kitchen. Hosts are challenged to create two dishes with two different ingredients starting with the same letter of the alphabet. Fish the dish is exactly what it sounds like. Eye-popping seafood and fun times with friends in a stylish modern environment. Crate the Plate was our first foray into documentary. Each episode follows one ingredient's journey from harvest to table. Stylish host Desiree Nelson is the urban vegetarian. And then we did this show, Latin Kitchen, Venezuelan, Mexican, and Spanish cuisines. Fresh Market Dinners is a culinary journey visiting farmer's markets and using local produce in campsite cooking. Spencer's Big 30 is a challenge like no other. It's a real-time show. Dinner for four in about 30 minutes for about $30. Flower Power is two seasons and eight specials all about baking delicious treats to spoil your family, your friends, and yourself. 
World-renowned chef, TV personality, and restaurateur Michael Bonaccini takes viewers on a tour of every Italian region's cuisine in Bonaccini's Italy. For those interested in new kitchen gadgets, we created Pressures On, a show that combines meal planning with getting the most out of modern pressure cookers. DNA Dinners is our most ambitious show yet. We surprise people with the details of their genetic ancestry, introduce them to chefs and food from that culture, and put them in the hot seat to impress their family and friends with what they have learned. Let's Brunch brings Vanessa Gianfrancesco back for her third Gusto show as she crafts a mix of traditional brunches along with healthy options. What's on the Grill takes you to Spencer Watts' rooftop patio, grilling up more than just burgers and steak, veggies, shellfish, and desserts. Combination Plates explores cuisines from dozens of different cultures, what they have in common, and how they can work together to create something incredible. So then, after almost two decades and much anticipation, we brought back one of the shows from our library, Cook Like a Chef. We made it modern, but still kept in style with the original series that was an important milestone in making food television what it is today. We own it all. We own the programming, we own the webisodes, we own the recipes, we own the high-res art, we own everything. And that allows us the opportunity to bring gusto to the rest of the world. So let me tell you one more thing about gusto. When you go home tonight and you turn on your television, you do so for one reason only, and that is to be entertained, to be taken away from your life for a little bit of time. We are in the entertainment business. That's our job. We entertain. And if we've really done our job well, and we do our job pretty well, you're going to sit there and you're going to say, wow, that looks delicious. And then you're going to go to gustotv.com, and then you're going to download the recipe. And then you're going to go to a grocery store, you're going to buy the groceries, and you're going to make that recipe for your family. And if your family loves it, it becomes part of your culinary repertoire. Now that is a deep emotional bond with our viewers. Nobody else can do that. Only us. Only food television can do that. And that's why we do what we do. Thanks.